guys, I hope you're doing good today. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make dreadlocks from human hair extensions. So these are some dreadlocks that I made last night. I wanna have a good amount of dreadlocks before I decide to put them in so I can pick out the best ones. So I'm probably thinking that I'm going to go with about 15, 16 dreadlocks on my head. So I'm going to have about half a head of dreadlocks, but we shall see. So I'm using this dreadlock as a guide for the thickness and length that I want to go for. So I'm just going to put these to the side. So that is the goal that we should be trying to achieve today. So taking the human hair extension, I am going to take a safety pin and just secure it in place. You can either use your trouser leg or a sofa or a cushion or something. So I'm just using this cushion. Also, you're gonna need some crochet hooks or crochet needles. I'm using one in the size one millimeter and then the other one is in the size 0.75 of a millimeter. So anything about half a mil, so nothing over one mil. I find about half a mil, 7.5 of a mil is a really good size to tuck in all those little hairs to neaten up your dreads. You're also going to need a thin tooth comb. I find a metal comb works best as it lasts a lot longer. This is actually a knit comb, but using a pet brush or something where the teeth or the brush are very close together. Otherwise, if you use plastic, you can find that the plastic can break and then you have no teeth left in your comb. So a knit comb is good. So to achieve this, we want to kind of maintain the length of the extension as much as possible. Watching different types of dread tutorials, I see that the length of the extension can dramatically shorten by the amount of backcombing. So I want to try and maintain the length of the extension with the hair as much as possible. So here we have it, a good size and also a good length. So we don't want to lose too much length. So it's all in the technique of the backcombing. You want to have a nice solid amount of hair without any gaps all the way down the extension. You want to backcomb consistently. You don't want to just randomly backcomb, otherwise it can be lumpy. So we're going to backcomb twice, move my hand down a little bit, backcomb twice, move my hand down, repeat this all the way down the extension so you have a nice backcombed bit of hair. Running your hands down the extension can also help prevent those really big knotted chunks in the dreads. So you just want to keep it nice and kind of smooth but then consistent at the same time. So I'm going to use this extension as a guide. Put it across the top of this dread, see if it is the right length that we're looking for. So it is a little bit thicker, so the length isn't as long as this one. But if you backcombed it too much and you do want the dreads longer, you can also kind of brush out the dread. So push it down a bit more. It's all in the backcombing. Now we pretty much have the length we want using this dread as a guide. Now just going back over, you want to make sure when you back comb the dread that the, the comb doesn't move anymore through the hair. Keeping the hair nice and soft by running your hands through it and then back comb until you can't back comb anymore. Once you've finished the back combing, you can move on to the crochet. So the crochet part is what makes the dread a dread. <laughs> so we're going to take our crochet hook or crochet needle. I'm going to use the 0.75 of a mil. So I'm going to just twist all these loose hairs that we have. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. So I'm going to take all the loose hairs on the top of the dread. I'm going to push the crochet hook through and then pull the loose hairs out the other side. And I'm going to continue this all the way down the dread, working my way down. So twist all the loose hairs, put the needle through the dread and then pull through the other side. And then do this all the way down. And then once you reach the bottom, 
you want to do this a few times and this is what really builds the dread up from the inside. So you've got that nice smooth texture and also you know your dread isn't going to unravel and go anywhere. So you can kind of see that we've done this bit and now we're going to do this bit with the crochet hook. I like to just kind of chill doing this, there's no, there's no real rush really. I mean, as long as you have one for a guide so you know the thickness you want and it's all good. If you find that you have a bit in the dread that isn't as back combed as you'd like, you can take the crochet needle and put it in the middle of the dread and just kind of move it backwards and forwards a bit and this actually helps tighten all the little hairs inside the dread so you don't have to go over to back home again. It's also best not to crochet too much otherwise the dread can be very tight and if it's tight then you're not really going to give your dreads a chance to mature. If you guys have ever had dreadlocks before you will know that dreadlocks take a while to mature and get to that proper dreadlock stage. You want to kind of give them some time to mature on their own. So it's going to take me a while to finish crocheting the rest of this one but you can kind of see where I've done it now and I've got this bit to go. To know the right tightness of the hair when you do the crochet what I like to do is just hold it from the base and if the dreadlock holds itself up um, I know that I've got the right tightness inside the hair all the way down is consistent so when I hold the dreadlock it's nice and firm. You will kind of know when it isn't because the dreadlock will bend and fall on itself and then you know that there is a weak area inside of the dread so if, it, if I held it here and the dread would fell down you would know you need to do a little bit more crochet on that bit as there is a or loose or a weak spot inside the dread so holding it from the base and it holds itself up you know that it is consistent all the way through. You should have some beautiful dreadlocks just like this. So once you have your dreadlocks the next thing will be to install them. If you're using hair extensions on a weft you can sew a clip onto the top but because I'm using tape and extensions what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the top parts off and then attach them onto my real hair. So that will be coming up real soon. But I'm very happy with the results. They definitely look like fresh baby dreadies because they're still so fluffy. But once they've matured over a few months when I put them in my hair, they should look badass. So I'm just going to finish crocheting this dreadlock now and I have these bits of extensions left to do. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm just going to do this and you guys can watch me however long the battery on my camera will last. <laughs> Also a tip for making dreadlocks, if you actually wash your extensions beforehand, if you wash them with shampoo, they are a lot easier to back comb and crochet. Because these ones I toned with a silver shampoo, and these ones I dyed with a conditioner based dye, and I find that the ones I use shampoo on, rather than the conditioner, is a lot easier to back comb. So if you are finding it hard, when you're back home and crochet guys, just wash your hair with some shampoo and don't bother using the conditioner because you want to get your hair kind of dry to do this. So if you're using a lot of conditioner and you decide to put dreads in your hair, it might take a while for them to actually knot up and mature because the conditioner just makes all the hair all silky. So remember to run your hand along the dread every so often just to help keep that nice and smooth because you don't want any lumps. This is all I do to make the dreads. So it's all about the back combing. These are so pretty, I'm so excited to put these in. I'm so excited and I have a few different tones. I've got the periwinkle, I've got ones that used to be a little purple, I've got some silver, so I'm going to get a nice set of dreadlocks going before we put them in.
also when you've got kind of most of it crocheted you want to do some palm rolling as well so take the dread between your palms and roll all the way up the dread this helps all the hairs get together there we go see it's coming to life so as you can see pretty much getting there I'm gonna do a little bit more crochet and then this one is done so each tread look I find takes me um, about 15 to 20 minutes to do so it all depends on how perfect you want your dreads. I mean, you can't get them perfect. There's no way, that, unless you're gonna spend like an hour on each dread look. But if you want a whole head of dreads, it's gonna take it's way too long to achieve. So you need to let nature do its thing. Just do as much as you can. Don't rush it, just chill with it. Once they're in, in your head, then you're gonna let them mature on their own. Every now and again you can do some crochet just to neaten up those little hairs and stuff. Maintain the roots, but apart from that, let nature do its own. I think that's one of the reasons why I like dreadlocks so much. It's just it's nice not to be able to, you know, straighten and curl your hair all the time. Just to have like a reasonable hairstyle. Especially if you have crazy hair that just goes everywhere every day. <laughs> I'm just gonna back home this a little bit because I can feel there's like a little loose patch there so it's really hard to get this whole dread in focus it's quite a long one actually once you get to the bottom I mean you can either have the ends where they're kind of wispy like this so I kind of like the, the wispy ends but if you wanted to have like a blunt end then you're gonna like you can grab the dread and rub it in your palm like this and that will have like a blunter end on the dread to kind of seal the end I take the crochet needle and then I just kind of move it up and down on the bottom and this helps not seal the hairs on the bottom just to stop it from coming undone There we go guys, that's pretty much it. That's how I make my dreadlock extensions. I hope it was easy enough for you guys to follow. Uh, I will be making a video on how I put them in. 